Hello learners, hope you are doing well. So let's get into this question. The following pseudo code is executed using the scores table. What will be the value of B at the end of execution? So we see that D is a dictionary with three key value pairs. Um, it is mathematics and an empty dictionary, physics and empty dictionary and chemistry and an empty dictionary with a value assigned to it as a value assigned to it and you have b is equal to 0. Now we see that while table 1 has more rows, we read the first row x in table 1 and we update this dictionary using a helper function called update dictionary by field and that takes three parameters which is the dictionary, your current card and the string called mathematics, physics or chemistry, basically the subject name. And then we move x to table number 2. Now before going forward with the next block of code, let's see what this helper function is doing for us. So in the first line we see that if is key d of subject comma y dot city town. So this means that if this city was already present within this empty dictionary that we have seen, if the city was already present, then you see if the marks that was awarded or the highest marks that you have seen in the city is less than what currently we have then we actually update the value of this marks to the current subject marks so we all know that by now this logic means that we're trying to find out the maximum marks but only here that we're trying to find out the maximum marks in each city so here your key in this empty dictionary your key is basically your city and your value is the marks. So that is what has been captured in the empty dictionary of all three subjects. So we are basically trying to find out the highest marks that a person from a city has scored and we are trying to find that for all the cities. So, so we see that if this particular key was not already present we go into this else statement and then we assign that marks to this particular key. So then we return this dictionary and then we see that we move on to the uh, second block of code where we see that while table 2 has more rows because all the cards from table 1 has now been moved to table 2 and then the second part we see that while table 2 has more rows we read the first row x in table 2 and we see that if eligible which is another helper function which takes two parameters that is the dictionary and the current card if that is greater than 1 then we increment b by 1 so what's happening here now let's go into this second helper function which is eligible and we see that a list called sublist which is assigned the strings mathematics physics and chemistry to it and we see that there is a variable called c that is assigned the value 0. Now we take an iterator called subject, we iterate through each of this sublist which means that subject takes the value, string value in fact of mathematics, physics and chemistry in each iteration and it checks if, if the highest marks which we all know that which has already been updated in this dictionary only then we have moved here so we see that if a card that we've chosen now has the highest marks in that particular city if so then we increment the value of c by 1 so actually what is it checking here it's checking that if say in city a if a student has got the highest marks in one subject then it increments the value of c by 1 if it has got more than the maximum marks in phys or it has got the equal to the maximum marks in physics then it increments c by 1 again so then c becomes 2 and then if it has got in chemistry as well then it becomes 3 so that is what is checking so it returns a value that is between 0 and 3 so what's happening in this block of code here so we see that if is eligible is returning a value that is greater than 1 then we increment b by 1. So basically we are trying to find out how many students 
in their respective cities have scored greater than in greater than two subjects the maximum marks so we see that in mpc you have cities a b c uh, d etc and then you see if they have scored the maximum marks in physics chemistry uh, pardon me in uh, maths physics or chemistry at least in two subjects they should have scored the maximum number of marks only then do we increment b so for this we have to go through the scores table and um, do it manually so uh, you know to not to save time i have already found out the answer and the answer to this question is actually 10 so 10 students are there who in their respective cities have scored equivalent to the highest marks in at least two subjects so i hope the explanation is clear to all students uh, thank you learners